Hello, everyone. So I'll give an update for word extensibility. In, in last community call, uh, we said that uh, we will have some uh, new APIs to be in the preview requirement set. Uh, and today I'm very happy to tell you that, uh, you know, uh, if you you go to our Word JavaScript preview API webpage, you will see those APIs available there. And from today, you actually can start to test these APIs for your requirements. And we will have these APIs supported with the version listed here. So with this version on the page and above, you can uh, leverage these APIs. Of course, you will need to leverage the beta CDNs uh, in order to test the preview uh, requirement set. So there are several features here. Last time I went through some of these, but I can do a, a quick um, going through of these items. So we, we have some updates for insert file uh, from base64, which I will show a demo uh, later on. Uh, basically, this is used for inserting files from another document into the current working document with the, all the formats kept. So previously, we had a, a problem that when you do the insert file, you know you will lose some formatting uh, information as well as other settings. So I'll show a demo for that. Uh, and also we have uh, some styling related APIs, which uh, you can retrieve styles from a base uh, 64 format and then apply them into your current document. Uh, so uh, the use case here is that uh, you can have your add-in to list out all the styles from an existing document and have your users directly choose the style settings from that document and apply them into your current one. So this will benefit for you uh, there uh, for, for those users that who want to reuse the formatting and style settings from existing document and we also can now recognize the deleted content controls when track changes is on so previously when you uh, try to get all the content controls uh, within the document you cannot tell you know which ones are the deleted ones and which uh, which ones are the normal ones especially when you turn on the track changes so now we have a api an option for you to categorize different content controls in different states which i will show another demo as well today uh, we support plain text content control api and starting from the desktop version and later on we will have some update for word online for this plain text content control as well um, on enter, on access content control events are the two newly added events where you know uh, people will have the the capability for more control of the content control events. Save close API allows you to save a document or close the document. So here we only support the operations for these two APIs. We haven't supported the events for these two actions, but this uh, this is something we can consider for future. And also we, we support field APIs as well. So please, if you have interest, please start to testing these APIs and provide us uh, early feedbacks because for these preview APIs, we want to have them to be GA in the coming months. So your feedbacks are very important. We also have some updates for Word Online and we have uh, track changes support for content controls uh, in production. So this is uh, also a great news for many of our partners. Now you can have this capability for Word Online. And it is something you can try out as well today because it's also in the pr production. Okay, now I, I can share you a demo for two APIs. One is insert file from base64 and another one is how do you re recognize different content controls uh, when track changes is on. So firstly, I'll demo insert file from base 64. As you can see from the document, so this is the document I want to insert into a target document. So in this document, you can see that we have a different format. We have track changes settings. Uh, we have those items that are not accepted yet. We also have uh, like content controls uh, inside this document. Furthermore, we have like watermarks. We have page borders. Etc. So, so different settings for this document. And now I can create a new document. And I'll try to open up my script lab here. 
because we prepared uh, some code snippet here, and I can show you the result of running this code. So I can choose that file, right? I, I just showed you, uh, insert file from Big Six Four stores. So with this, I can insert the content into your current document. You can see that everything has been retained, uh, especially for the page border and for the previous not accepted changes, as well as the style settings. So if you take a look at here, you know, the style settings is also changed. For example, if I go to the styles and go to the heading one, so it, it has already modified with the source document. And we also have the content controls inserted here. So you may be wondering how, how we do this. Actually, we provide the different options here. So let's go inside the code snippet here. You can see from here is that we have added a new function called insert file from base 64. It is not the existing one. So existing ones are based on the body class, but now you know at the document level, we have this new function. So for this one, we provide different options. Uh, so replace, so for this replace option, which means that you could replace the entire document with the inserted file. And we also provide like add or append capability, which allows you to add content, add the inserted file uh, and append it to your existing document or existing content. We also provide different options to allow you to have the document level settings. Uh, as I mentioned, like this, the, the, the theme or the styles, page color, as well as the tracking mode, these can all be controlled by developers whether to retain the, uh, the source document level settings when doing the insertion. Okay, so this is the, for the insert file from base 64. And we also have another API released. I'll open up this again. So we also can recognize the deleted content controls. So from here, you can see that we have uh, like three content controls uh, which are deleted as one entity. And also we have two newly inserted content controls here, and we have one normal content controls. So we actually can recognize these. For example, we can get from this test, we can get the number of the normal content controls. So we can do, uh, you know, get the deleted content controls and also the added content controls. So this will help our customers to better categorize the different uh, state of the content controls in under track changes mode. We actually, from the code here, we actually return different content control collections for each state. So you actually can have the settings to say, you know, which type, which state of the content control you want to select from the collection. So firstly, uh, from here, you could see that uh, firstly, you will need to get all the content controls at your body le level. And then, you know, with that content control collection, you can do the, the, the get by change track tracking states function to get the subset of the content controls. So that's the quick demo of this, and I'll go back to my presentation. Um, looking forward, in next community call, we will provide more demos for you uh, so that you could understand more of our preview API set. Again, you know, just to remind you that you know we, we have planned to release these APIs uh, in the coming months. So your input and testing results are very, very important for us. We also, we are calling for writing assistant partners. You can see we started to, to invest more on word extensibility from last year. And we actually provide the different support covering different scenarios such as the citation management, document assembly, content insertion, and so on. And writing assistant is uh, something we start to have more focusing on. So we would like to have partners being on board and work with us for some um, requirement discussions as well as uh, feature co-work, et cetera. So if you have interest, please fill uh, the form here and submit a request so that we can contact you later on. That's all for today. Thanks very much. Awesome.
That was a great demo and a lot of good updates. Thank you so much, Yoon.